After a busy couple of days of wiring in the engine bay, I have got a Liberty fuse box and a shitload of relays in there wiring this car up. I'm building the wiring loop from scratch and I've just connected up the accessories and the on relays which will power the interior fuse box and I've got these three relays down here which power the um, that'd be the fuel pump, ignition coil etc. That's the starter solenoid and I can give you a little demo and at the moment I've got this power probe connected to the the main feed into the engine bay fuse box excuse the bird's nest and the earth for this probe is earthing out on these wires which earth these relays and the ones up there and I've got my multimeter set to continuity so it'll beep and I've got that connected to the positive and also just for a test to the power to the fuel pump uh, ignore those relays they're unrelated <laughs> so when I flick the switch to the on position you should hear a beep plus all the relays clicking um, I'll just have to put the phone down and give you a little demo And there you go. So that's proof that it all works. What I've done so far anyway. And uh, the ignition switch at the moment, it's probably too dark in here. I have got the original plugs and the original ignition switch, which looks a little something like this. Can't use this one because the pin's different. And the original plugs, I've re repinned the plugs. So now instead of handling all the power that like it used to in the old car, this switch only handles the power to signal the relays, which hopefully will give me more reliability and less voltage drop across this 30 year old plug, 30 year old switch, I mean. And yeah, it's probably too dark, but there's my wiring loom as it is at the moment. And it all works really well so far. That's all for now. See you later.